in geometry and complex analysis. A Mobius transformation of the complex plane is a rational function of the form of one complex variable z, here the coefficients a, b, c, d are complex numbers satisfying add minus b c 0. Geometrically, a Mobius transformation can be obtained by first performing stereographic projection from the plane to the unit 2 sphere, rotating and moving the sphere to a new location and orientation in space, and then performing stereographic projection to the plane. These transformations preserve angles, map every straight line to a line or circle, and map every circle to a line or circle. The Mobius transformations are the projected transformations of the complex projective line. They form a group, called the Mobius group, which is the projective linear group PGL. Together with its subgroups, it has numerous applications in mathematics and physics. Mobius transformations are named in honor of August Ferdinand Mobius. They are also variously named homographies, homographic transformations linear fractional transformations, bilinear transformations, or fractional linear transformations. Overview Mobius transformations are defined on the extended complex plane. Stereographic projection identifies with a sphere, which is then called the Riemann sphere. Alternatively, can be thought of as the complex projective line. The Mobius transformations are exactly the bijective conformal maps from the Riemann sphere to itself, i.e., the automorphisms of the Riemann sphere as a complex manifold. Alternatively, they are the automorphisms of as an algebraic variety. Therefore the set of all Mobius transformations forms a group under composition. This group is called the Mobius group, and is sometimes denoted the Mobius group is isomorphic to the group of orientation preserving isometries of hyperbolic 3 space and therefore plays an important role when studying hyperbolic 3 manifolds. In physics, the identity component of the Lorentz group acts on the celestial sphere in the same way that the Mobius group acts on the Riemann sphere. In fact, these two groups are isomorphic. An observer who accelerates to relativistic velocities will see the pattern of constellations as seen near the Earth continuously transform according to infinitesimal Mobius transformations. This observation is often taken as the starting point of twist-door theory. Certain subgroups of the Mobius group form the automorphism groups of the other simply connected Riemann surfaces. As such, Mobius transformations play an important role in the theory of Riemann surfaces. The fundamental group of every Riemann surface is a discrete subgroup of the Mobius group. A particularly important discrete subgroup of the Mobius group is the modular group. It is central to the theory of many fractals, modular forms, elliptic curves and Pellian equations. Mobius transformations can be more generally defined in spaces of dimension n greater than 2 as the bijective conformal orientation preserving maps from the n sphere to the n sphere. Such a transformation is the most general form of conformal mapping of a domain. According to Liouville's theorem, a Mobius transformation can be expressed as a composition of translations, similarities, orthogonal transformations, and inversions. Definition. The general form of a Mobius transformation is given by where A, B, C, D are any complex numbers satisfying add minus B, C, 0. If add equals B, C, the rational function defined above is a constant since and is thus not considered a Mobius transformation. In case C0, this definition is extended to the whole Riemann sphere by defining if C equals 0. We define thus a Mobius transformation is always a bijective holomorphic function from the Riemann sphere to the Riemann sphere. The set of all Mobius transformations forms a group under composition. This group can be given the structure of a complex manifold in such a way that composition and inversion are holomorphic maps. The Mobius group is then a complex Lie group. The Mobius group is usually denoted as it is the automorphism group of the Riemann sphere. Decomposition and elementary properties. A Mobius transformation is equivalent to a sequence of simpler transformations. Let 
Then these functions can be composed, giving this decomposition makes many properties of the Mobius transformation obvious. The existence of the inverse Mobius transformation and its explicit formula are easily derived by the composition of the inverse functions of the simpler transformations, that is, define functions g1, g2, g3, g4 such that each g is the inverse of phi. Then the composition gives a formula for the inverse preservation of angles and generalized circles from this decomposition. We see that Mobius transformations carry over all non-trivial properties of circle inversion. For example, the preservation of angles is reduced to proving that circle inversion preserves angles since the other types of transformations are dilation and isometries, which trivially preserve angles. Furthermore, Mobius transformations map generalized circles to generalized circles since circle inversion has this property. A generalized circle is either a circle or a line, the latter being considered as a circle through the point at infinity. Note that a Mobius transformation does not necessarily map circles to circles and lines to lines. It can mix the two. Even if it maps a circle to another circle, it does not necessarily map the first circle's center to the second circle's center. Cross-ratio preservation cross-ratios are invariant under Mobius transformations. That is, if a Mobius transformation maps four distinct points to four distinct points respectively, then if one of the points is the point at infinity, then the cross-ratio has to be defined by taking the appropriate limit, e.g., the cross-ratio of is the cross-ratio of four different points is real if and only if there is a line or a circle passing through them. This is another way to show that Mobius transformations preserve generalized circles. Conjugation two points Z1 and Z2 are conjugate with respect to a generalized circle C, if Given a generalized circle D passing through Z1 and Z2 and cutting C into points R and B, the four points are in harmonic division. This property does not depend on the choice of the circle D. This property is also sometimes referred to as being symmetric with respect to a line or circle. Two points Z, Z asterisk are conjugate with respect to a line, if they are symmetric with respect to the line. Two points are conjugate with respect to a circle if they are exchanged by the inversion with respect to this circle. The point Z asterisk conjugate to Z when L is the line determined by the vector based A theta at the point Z0 can be explicitly given as the point Z asterisk conjugate to Z when C is the circle of radius R centered Z0 can be explicitly given as since Mobius transformations preserve generalized circles and cross ratios. They preserve also the conjugation, projective matrix representations. With every invertible complex 2 by 2 matrix we can associate the Mobius transformation the condition at minus BC0 is equivalent to the condition that the determinant of above matrix be non-zero, i.e., that the matrix be invertible. It is straightforward to check that then the product of two matrices will be associated with the composition of the two corresponding Mobius transformations. In other words, the map from the general linear group GL to the Mobius group, which sends the matrix to the transformation F, is a group homomorphism. Note that any matrix obtained by multiplying by a complex scalar lambda determines the same transformation. So a Mobius transformation determines its matrix only up to scalar multiples. In other words, the kernel of pi consists of all scalar multiples of the identity matrix I, and the first isomorphism theorem of group theory states that the quotient group GL it, is isomorphic to the Mobius group. This quotient group is known as the projective linear group and is usually denoted PGL. The same identification of PGL with the group of fractional linear transformations and with the group of projective linear automorphisms of the Projective line holds over any field K, a fact of algebraic interest, particularly for finite fields, though the case of the complex numbers has the greatest geometric interest. 
the natural action of PGL on the complex projective line CP1 is exactly the natural action of the Mobius group on the Riemann sphere, where the projective line CP1 and the Riemann sphere are identified as follows. Here, Z1, Z2, the homogeneous coordinates on CP1, the point 1 to 0, corresponds to the point infinity of the Riemann sphere. By using homogeneous coordinates, many concrete calculations involving Mobius transformations can be simplified, since no case distinctions dealing with infinity are required. If one restricts to matrices of determinant 1, the map high restricts to a surjective map from the special linear group SL to the Mobius group. In the restricted setting the kernel is formed by plus and minus the identity, and the quotient group SL, plus or minus I, denoted by PSL, is therefore also isomorphic to the Mobius group. From this we see that the Mobius group is a three-dimensional complex Lie group. It is a semi-simple non-compact Lie group. Note that there are precisely two matrices with unit determinant which can be used to represent any given Mobius transformation. That is, SL is a double cover of PSL. Since SL is simply connected it is the universal cover of the Mobius group. Therefore the fundamental group of the Mobius group is Z2, specifying a transformation by three points. Given a set of three distinct points Z1, Z2, Z3 on the Riemann sphere and a second set of distinct points W1, W2, W3, there exists precisely one Mobius transformation F with F equals Y for I equals 1, 2, 3. There are several ways to determine F from the given sets of points. Mapping first to 0, 1, infinity it is easy to check that the Mobius transformation with matrix maps Z1, Z2, Z3 to 0, 1, infinity, respectively. If one of the Z is infinity, then the proper formula for is obtained from the above 1 by first dividing all entries by Z and then taking the limit Z infinity. If it's similarly defined to map W1, W2, W3 to 0, 1, infinity, then the matrix which maps Z1, 2, 3 to W1, 2, 3 becomes the stabilizer of 0. 1, infinity, is a subgroup known as the anharmonic group. Explicit determinant formula The equation is equivalent to the equation of a standard hyperbola in the plane. The problem of constructing a Mobius transformation mapping a triple to another triple is thus equivalent to finding the coefficients a, b, c, d of the hyperbola passing through the points. An explicit equation can be found by evaluating the determinant by means of a Laplace expansion along the first row. This results in the determinant formulae for the coefficients a, b, c, d of the representing matrix. The constructed matrix has determinant equal to which does not vanish if the z-resp y are pairwise different thus the Mobius transformation is well defined. Classification Non-identity Mobius transformations are commonly classified into four types, parabolic, elliptic, hyperbolic and loxodromic, with the hyperbolic ones being a subclass of the loxodromic ones. The classification has both algebraic and geometric significance. Geometrically, the different types result in different transformations of the complex plane, as the figures below illustrate. The four types can be distinguished by looking at the trace. Note that the trace is invariant under conjugation, that is, and so every member of a conjugacy class will have the same trace. Every Mobius transformation can be written such that its representing matrix has determinant 1. Two Mobius transformations with a conjugate if and only if in the following discussion we will always assume that the representing matrix is normalized such that parabolic transforms a non-identity Mobius transformation defined by a matrix of determinant 1 is said to be parabolic if 
In fact, one of the choices for has the same characteristic polynomial x2 minus 2x plus 1 as the identity matrix, and is therefore omnipotent. A Mobius transform is parabolic if and only if it has exactly one fixed point in the extended complex plane, which happens if and only if it can be defined by a matrix conjugate to which describes a translation in the complex plane. The set of all parabolic Mobius transformations with a given fixed point in, together with the identity, forms a subgroup isomorphic to the group of matrices. This is an example of the omnipotent radical of a Borel subgroup for the matrix group. The notion is defined for any reductive Lie group. Characteristic constant All non-parabolic transformations have two fixed points and are defined by a matrix conjugate to with the complex number lambda, not equal to zero, one or minus one, corresponding to a dilation, rotation through multiplication by the complex number k equals lambda two, called the characteristic constant or multiplier of the transformation. Elliptic transforms The transformation is said to be elliptic if it can be represented by a matrix whose trace is real with a transform is elliptic, if and only if lambda equals 1 and lambda plus or minus 1. Writing, an elliptic transform is conjugate to with alpha real. Note that for any with characteristic constant k, the characteristic constant of is nots. Thus, all Mobius transformations of finite order are elliptic transformations, namely exactly those where lambda is a root of unity, or, equivalently, where alpha is a rational multiple of pi. The simplest possibility of a fractional multiple means alpha equals pi, too, which is also the unique case of is also denoted as a circular transform. This corresponds geometrically to rotation by 180 degrees about two fixed points. This class is represented in matrix form as there are three representatives fixing 0, 1, infinity, which are the three transpositions in the symmetry group of these three points which fixes 1 and swaps 0 with infinity, which fixes infinity and swaps 0 with 1, and which fixes 0 and swaps 1 with infinity. Hyperbolic transforms The transform is said to be hyperbolic if it can be represented by a matrix whose trace is real with a transform is hyperbolic. If and only if lambda is real and positive. Loxodromic transforms The transform is said to be loxodromic if is not in 0, 4. A transformation is loxodromic if and only if. Historically, navigation by loxodrome or rumble line refers to a path of constant bearing. The resulting path is a logarithmic spiral, similar in shape to the transformations of the complex plane that a loxodromic Mobius transformation makes. See the geometric figures below. General classification The real case and a note on terminology over the real numbers. There are no non-hyperbolic loxodromic transformations and the classification is into elliptic, parabolic, and hyperbolic, as for real conics. The terminology is due to considering half the absolute value of the trace, tr, 2, as the eccentricity of the transformation, division by 2 corrects for the dimension, so the identity has eccentricity 1, and absolute value corrects for the trace only being defined up to a factor of plus or minus 1 due to working in PSL. Alternatively one may use half the trace squared as a proxy for the eccentricity squared. As was done above, these classifications agree for real traces but not complex traces. The same terminology is used for the classification of elements of SL, and analogous classifications are used elsewhere. Loxodromic transformations are an essentially complex phenomenon, and correspond to complex eccentricities.